everyone, I'm out for the welcome back to Loop Hero. Playing again. Uh, I've just built the farm, which gives us all these little farms. Isn't that nice? You notice how strangely this oblivion affects our senses? Hunger, for example. You can go for days without food and you still won't be hungry. That doesn't mean you should quit eating. Our farmer swears he'll be able to grow some stable crops, but it'll take some time. I'm curious to see what he can grow without any sunlight. Yeah, I would be too, honestly. And we're missing all of these things. But this gives us supply. You find useful supply items for the people in the camp. Uh, we craft supply things if we have necessary buildings. And we've unlocked a card called Ruins. So let's take a look at that. Wheat fields, swamp. So I kind of almost want to drop this out, put this in. Uh, can be placed next to a village. Heals gives us scarecrows. I like all of these. I don't really want to drop any. So yeah, I've just, I've been doing a lot off screen. Cause like this game's really cool. Oh, hold on. Let's level up here. Oh yeah, I noticed that there's a little button that'll show up here that, that's like, hey, put your stuff here. And you kind of have to. <laughs> like, you can't not do it. Because the game doesn't give you a chance to, like, yeah, let's put it there. And then we can maximize potential. see about it. Cool. I've got a new plan, by the way, to start putting other things that are not... That gives us four gives us three. That gives us five. So yeah, that's the best. Getting so much wheat. <laughs> yeah, and then we can hit all of this corner in this little peninsula here. But yeah, I love occupying as many tiles as I can with, with battlefields because like you get free stuff, it's better than what you have, and the chest enemy is simple. Let's start putting some rocks up here just to get rid of them. Oh, we can put another meadow down as well. Oh, cool. So... Grove goes here, and then we can affect this little square. Yeah. And we can affect this little square with a blood forest. And then we also have a blood forest that goes up there. I went on a village. I have all these wheat tiles, and I can't do nothing with them. Why not? Five wheats. They're messing me up with wheat here. Damage to all encounter. That's pretty great. Versus vampirism. I'll take the vampirism. I love vampirism as a concept, as a game mechanic. It's just fun. This gives us four. This gives us three. We can put it here and get four. Let's put it here and get... Yeah, let's put it here and get four. Well, I kind of want to save that for... So let's put it here and get five. Okay. It's going well. So yeah, I like this game's, um, 
kind of like it's it's way of go- of of going about things. It's way of thinking. Like it feels very optimistic, despite the fact that it's so austere and scary looking. You know. Still can't do nothing with these, huh? Oh, and this upgrades it as well. Interesting. And useful, no less. See, when this bar fills up, it gives me a little notification here, and I literally just never clicked on the notification. Village, finally. So what is this? 20 HP... 75 and spawn scarecrows. Cool. Yeah, give me that chest. Fresh weapons. 11% vampirism, but we get regen. But we take a hit of damage. I'll stick with what I've got. Thank you. So it looks like this gives us... um free goodies as well. Which I didn't know. Nice. Okay, cool. I collapsed that by mistake. Pardon me. Yeah, alright, we got the level. So we can increase defense by one every loop. New choice of three trades. Oh, interesting. Surveyor. Every time the hero passes through a tile, he will heal for half a hit point times the loop HP for every non-road tile around it. Ooh, interesting. I'm going to go with this one. So I guess that wastes the, the thing, huh? So yeah, this should have gone further away. I'll make a note of it for next time. But we're learning. We're doing it. Now we're getting the bandit place. Quest complete. Hell yeah. I love the look of this, of this shirt. It just looks so scary. <laughs> Dare I even say baller? I'm not getting my blood forests. What's up with that? Okay. Oh, another village. Blood Grove, there we go. Right in here. And then some wheat. Ooh, nice. All right. Okay, cool. That's the Scarecrow, huh? And the other blood grove. Yes. Good. Um, hmm. Let's put one here. Let's put a meadow here. Or a grove, rather, so we can put a blood grove next to it and get more blood groves. Yeah, I like this. This is interesting. I'm sure that there are some, like, mathematically solved, super pure things. Where it's like, this'll just be the ultimate. But then again, it is randomized too. Oh, so putting these next to anything gives you bonus. Hmm. 
Let's put it here. It's a really... I'm, I'm sure that there could be some philosophical bent to this. I don't know if it's intended by the author or anything. But, you know, it's just possible that there could be one. That this game is important philosophically. Of the nature of attempting to do things even though it may be useless. Even though it may be for nothing. Doing things for the sake of doing them. I can agree with that. I can respect that, in fact. No, we're full up. Bonk. Bonk. Cool. There's a lot of there's a lot of futility in the day-to-day -to -day life today. I feel like the internet is like it's not to blame, of course, no boomer shit here, but the fact that you can see everyone doing things and everyone's usually attempting to just post their W's and not post their big L's as you do. And so, you know, it's a thing where like, I like to look at that. Oh, we got a level. A uh, surveyor. Every time you pass through a thing. So where's our defense? Our defense is 29. is still 29. Put some blocks down, huh? Fuck, the apple face. A lot of enemies here, huh? But yeah, on the internet, in the modern day and age, like, you can really easily see everyone doing really well, and, like, that has to be demoralizing for you, right? The damage, though, that's for real. Like, that fight went fast. 9% vampirism, and then just a chunk of... We dropped down to 25. Or defense, rather. Okay. Let's put it there. And then, that counts for both, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah, all right. <laughs> hmm. Ooh, wow, we're getting the we're getting a lot of big pop-offs now. I kind of feel like this game must be beatable, right? Like, I know that it's a roguelike, and by definition, it's intended, meant, theoretically, supposed to go forever, forever and ever. Yeah, there's the thing. Yeah, it's supposed to go forever, but, like, I kind of feel like if any roguelike was going to have, like, a thing, like an ending, this would be the one to have it, right? I'm recording. Let's give this Lich another shot, huh?
I wanted to put those somewhere a little more strategically advantage advantageous, but not to be. Alright. Got up to 26 defense. Is it possible? We have a score to settle. Hmm. Whoa! I was just looking at my health. It's impossible for many reasons. I don't understand. Now put everything back the way it was. I can't. I've already completed my task, even if it's not perfect. You're in no position to refuse, you sack of bones. He's already received everything I could gather. I just wanted to see how our crusade against the universe would end. To witness what would come of it. My presence is no longer required. Who's he? I get it. You're connected somehow, right? That's why. You'll find out soon enough. This anomaly will not escape his attention. My explanation would be meaningless to you now. So spare me your wheezing and just die. That sack of bones is telling the truth. I have a long journey ahead. I'll build my whole world from scratch if I have to. And that skull, the skull of that monster will be the first brick in the foundation. Ooh, each day passes faster. Resource cap is increased. I like that. The boss has been defeated, but it doesn't have to end. Uh, but remember, the world will forget your deeds. It always forgets. Whoa. Heavy. Well, I just got some really good stuff, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep marching for a bit. Lich's Palace, huh? Yeah, and the... These places are giving me big ups for health, which is good. Interesting. So yeah, it's the world like the world can be beaten. Very scary, very creepy though. Of course there was going to be some sort of silly plot going on. Oh, I got another thing as well. A uh, card sharp, 10% chance to keep the card after placing its tile. Whoa. Buckler, every counter heals the hero. I'll take card sharp. Yeah, there's a chest in there. Hell yeah. And my health actually is managing to stay topped off this loot. Maybe it will next time, but this is doing pretty good. Ooh, another blood grove. Where is this place gonna go? In here, right? Yeah. Yeah, look at all the stuff in here. Oh, it's gonna be so clean. And I'll put fields there. Yeah, putting chrono crystals next to the um Nice. Yeah, putting chrono crystals next to the um next to the blood groves must like of course it'll mean that more guys spawn, but it won't be as bad. It could never be as bad because they're going to die at 15% of their health instead of 100%. Or instead of zero, rather. Who's this red guy? I've, like, lost myself. I don't know where I am. Um, this gives me two attack to all. That's not super good. Oh, I see where I am now. The max damage of this one is the minimus damage of that one. I mean, I guess that's a word. Um, who's this red guy? I guess there's one coming up, so I'll see him pretty soon. Is it the flash one? Or if I just never noticed the vampire. Yeah, big heels.
Yo, okay, hello. <laughs> Yeah, see, all that just gets turned into goodies for me. Like, I don't need to care as much. I didn't really need that one back. Thank you, though. This is super cool. And as long as I can keep keep it going, then I can bring back a really big, like, supply. So when these are, are decomposing, they're like, let's take a hit to my health. And get a little more health back, huh? I'm hovering around the 600s. Oop, got a, got a perk. Blissful Ignorance. A full hand of Oblivion cards. Using Oblivion will heal you. Well, by 10% of match XP. Wow. Article of Protection. Receiving this trade to start of every loop, you get 65% of your match HP. This phantom shield that persists between battles. Damage to the shield ignores defenses. Let's do... Let's try that one. And then we'll... Okay, we're hovering around the 700s. Getting up to the 800s, in fact. Cool. This is super good. I assume that at some point I'm just literally going to be completely incapable of keeping up with the, uh... Keeping up with it. But, like, I appear to be doing pretty well. But yeah, I'm sort of running out of places to put things. But then again, I'm also starting to fill up. Does this mean full? I think the orange must mean full. Though I have now seen way, way more than I ever thought I would have. Yeah, where can these go? Where am I? I just walked away from the camp. Yeah. yeah, this is getting pretty busted. It's kind of running away from me, in fact. Quest done, cool. Yeah, there's a lot I feel like one could learn from this game as well. Like, if you take it at pure face value, philosophically speaking, it will... This could say something to someone, you know? I'm always supportive of games that are like that. There's no, like... Inherent like, requirement to take this game philosophically. You can, but you don't need to. Ah, if you purge it, it goes away. Unfortunate. But it does kill the enemies, so... Alright. I've not broken 2,000 yet. I feel like that's probably going to be difficult. Oh, let's rock it with this. So 
so yeah, just the ability to keep the loop going. I feel very strong right now. I mean, this is after beating the final boss. Such as it is the final boss, you know? But now, like, the world is just so littered with enemies, it's really hard for me to, like, get anywhere and get anything done. Where's my camp? Here it is. Okay. I'm here. So I'm about as far from the camp as one can be. Yeah, we're literally, like, filling up on... I guess I can't even get any more stuff from these. Yeah, I've almost completely filled up on everything. Orbit of Immortality. That is unstable. This makes it stably non-existent. Usually enough to avoid the gruesome fate. Am I going to get an achievement for maxing out everything? Putting things down on every possible square. If I don't, I'll feel severely ripped off. Alright, I might break... Wrong. You're doing a lot of damage to me. And that was with the, the blood force up. Now almost all of my gear is tier 9. 20% mana points. I don't think that means 20% of my health. As far as I know, that means like 20% of... Like it's like um, 20% of your attack is returned to you. Yeah, see, because I'm getting like... Yeah, 20% of 1,000 would be more it would be 200 right and i'm getting like 20 but i'm doing yeah i got like 19 there and i'm doing like hundreds of damage in the triple digits if i'm lucky all right we're coming up on this thing let's just maximize our goods Ooh, Lord. <laughs> we literally don't have anywhere to put this. All right, wow. Everybody listen, the Lich is dead. The curse has been lifted, but what Lich and what curse? I believe you, of course, but I have no idea what you're talking about. You don't remember the dead sorcerer? The one with the fur coat and scepter shattered in a nebulous foot above the world on big shining wings, consuming it piece by piece? That's strange, and everything here does look the same. Why? I guess he wasn't the only reason for this darkness, then. Hmm. The skeleton mentioned him. Whoever he is, he must have done something with the obliteration of this world. It seems I have no other option but to continue my expeditions. Cool. What are we putting down? Farm. What did I just put down? Oh, I already did put down a farm, but I can put down another farm and get more farms per farm. Yeah, see, this has one farm, but this is zero out of one. Okay, the refuge in the cemetery. Passing through a cemetery tile will grant you a memory fragment. Interesting. Thank you. This place is nice. Calm, there are people here, but they're quiet. They're grim, but they can tell you much. But you can listen. Creepy. Anything else we can slap down? No. Oh, we can put down a refuge. Uh, unlocks a new class, Rogue. Can only be built next to the field kitchen. Alright, the orange means that you have to replace something. Alright. There are exiles, even in exile hero. Don't go too hard on the lost souls who found respite in wine and gambling. Why don't you take a seat and pick yourself a poison to drink? But I'm not here for the... That's strange. 
This place in this light, but it also feels so familiar. Now we're talking. So you found a living on the road? Bit of robbery, maybe. Oh, that's super scary. If you listen to somebody else's life so much that you can identify with them, then your memory's like, that was you, right? Oh, that's super scary. Is this someone else new and did all this? And now I have the knowledge and skills. And somehow I literally have two aces in my sleeve now. And this coin purse. I think I stole it too. Ha. <laughs> Wait, that's my purse. You don't believe me? Ah, oh, well. Feel free to come by if you don't want to dis if you want to discuss the new trade. I didn't become with guy this good with knives by working in the kitchen, you know. You're cool. I don't know what your deal is, man, but you're cool. Chapter two. Whoa. And I can be a rouge. Starts with warrior's gear. Oh, but this gives me boots. And I lose out on my ring. And instead of another thing, I have a... Uh-huh. Whoa, this game... <laughs> oh, this is cool. All right, I'm going to do another run as a rogue um, next time, though. I've been Alfred. This has been Loop Hero. Thank you all for coming. I've been having a really good time with this game. Um, I'll see you next week, though. Bye.